Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Cube Pilot Drone Edition and look what we've got here. Two packages that arrived exactly at the same time from my good friends at Cube Pilot, Philip and Sid sent me these and I'm really excited to figure out, to find out what's inside. So we'll start with the small box first. I really think this is going to be the main event. So I'm going to make you sit through the, the small box, but it's not une uneventful as well. Let's check, check this out. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is okay. This is already more than I expected. What I was expecting was a GPS, but there's two boxes here. Look at this. Wow. So look at what we've got. We've got two boxes and they are both two here for GPSs. And that's, I was expecting one here for GPS. I got two. And on top of that, these are, can you read that there? For RTK. So that I'm going to have to figure out how to, that works because I haven't done this before and it's going to be very interesting. But with two GPSs and RTK, you can get centimeter precision on GPS, GPS positioning. So this is going to be already exciting just from the GPS point of view. And we haven't even looked at this box yet. Okay. Let's take a look. Obviously, they're both the same. So we can have a look in one. We can leave the other one till later. Welcome to the world of open source. Hmm. Guess what? The same. Uh, there is a here for manual docs.cubepilot.org user guides here for here for manual. So that will be all of the information will be there. A beautifully presented here for GPS. Now this GPS from Cube Pilot is a, a top end GPS and incredibly powerful. Not only is this capable of GPS and RTA, RTK positioning with GPS, this can technically run as a complete standalone Ardu Pilot flight controller, I hear. So, um, we may even have a chance to play with that. I'm not 100% sure how that works with only one connector, but that in any case is a beautiful looking GPS and that will help with this. And this will help with this. So that I'm definitely going to have to look this up in the manual and there will be more to come. Stick around, subscribe, because there's definitely going to be some fun to be had with this and this GPS, because look at this. We've got, we've got some interesting looking cables and we've got a little connector board in here. And I got a funny feeling. This is the part where the, this so-called GPS with some cables, and this connector board, which looks to me a whole lot like a carrier board, honestly. May well be the, yeah, see, look at that. We've got PWM outputs here. We've got power connector, power connectors, and these cables obviously connect in here. So, uh, and I've got what probably looks like either CAN or I squared C and that would be the power. Uh, no, that will be hmm, safety switch cable. Not sure. So we'll find out, but that potentially may be the way that this with this can become a flight controller. Hmm. Interesting. This here for G GPS has a lot of great stuff. I've opened this up, had a look at the manual, and here's what you get. I mean, the first thing is it's an F9P GPS, 
high precision RTK capable GPS. Secondly, in here, in this little gadget here, there's a, a STM32H7 processor. That's the same processor as in the Cube Orange. The third thing is this breakout board means that with the new version of ArduPilot coming in 4.5 version of ArduPilot, you'll be able to use this as a flight co controller on its own without even needing a standalone flight controller. And the, the last thing is for those of you in the United States, uh, this is capable of being a drone ID, aka remote ID, and that will be something that many of you are going to need. And this will mean that you'll be able to use this without having to have a separate remote ID. So there's a number of reasons why this is, as usual from Cubepilot, a top-end, high-quality device for GPS and location for your Autopilot flight controller.